All right, Bubblos Rex here, and today I'm taping this live. What we're talking about, uh, 11.0.5, and what I think could be in it, because I got predictions. Because here's the thing, it's already popping up in the data, and the expansion isn't even out yet, so. They may be giving us some juice uh, as early as the end of the month. You know, I think it will be September. I think it will be after the raid releases to we'll know more if it's related to. I actually don't think it'll be rated, uh, related to the end of the raid. I think we're going to hear more about it by the end of the month. If not the start of September, honestly, now that I think about it. And let's get this out of the way. When do I think 11.0.5 will hit? My current guess, if I had to put it on a date, I'm saying October 22nd. Could be the 15th, could be the 29th. I think it's going to be before November. Personally, I think it's going to be before November. Because I think November, which is going to be the WoW anniversary, 20 years, I think they're going to be selling us some stuff. We got no BlizzCon this year, but they like to do deals, fall deals, fall sales, and they'll probably start it off with a patch that introduces a lot of that stuff. So, let's pull up the roadmap, though. All right. We have it set for autumn. November is still technically autumn. But it is getting close to winter. Well, I guess the three months for winter are December, January, February. But I see it happening in October. The patch. But let's talk about what we got going on in here. Story and quests, new content and system updates, and the 20th anniversary. So, I've been discussing this on my stream. I see this playing out in three different ways. Alright? Stories and quests. Could that be War Within related? Or could it be 20th anniversary related? Because look at this. The main thing on this is the 20th anniversary for this patch so one of the ideas i have for this is they lean into the 20th anniversary and then of course new content system updates that there too but that's with everything so if they lean in to the 20th anniversary event here's what i think they could do they could re revamp the caverns of time straight up right you may think why would they do that for an old zone well here's the thing if the 20th anniversary is supposed to be a big event and this is going to be the big event for the patch i want to see the molten core lfr return with the core hound mount you know the core hound mount it's on the it's on the black market auction house i guess it pops up but they should get bring this back they should bring that back for the 20th anniversary. You know, they brought back a lot of the other mounts you can get from the vendor. You know, I think uh, Korak's Revenge, of course, should return. The Terran Mill in South Shore should return. I actually was thinking if this was going to be a full event, we should get a dungeon, like uh, an anniversary dungeon that's permanent. And you can run it with followers. You know, we've already seen a raid. We've already seen a couple of battlegrounds. I do think if we get a dungeon, we should get a new battleground too. And I would love to see it themed about other Blizzard stuff. You know, but it is WoW's 20th anniversary. So I kept going back to it should be centered around WoW. But I, I would love a Blizz World style event thing in wow and if you don't know blizz world it's a thing in overwatch where it's got like 
World of Warcraft section, Diablo section, uh, Hearthstone section. I would love something like that in the Caverns of Time. Because the, the WoW anniversary event is supposed to be a little bit meta. And I definitely don't think it should be an extension of the Radiant Echoes. That's its own thing. But it should maybe bring back some of the, the bosses and stuff. You know, that we've been seeing, you know. We have the, the Chromie. I was looking through... Here, I'll bring it up. Uh, wrong thing. I was looking through the anniversaries, right? On the 10th anniversary, we got the, the raid and then the, the battleground thing. On the 15th, we got the Chromie memories, which I also think should come back. And we're definitely getting something on the 20th that big. So, if they really make it big, I want to see some big changes. Okay? But, we could just get like a new mount. You know, we could just get like a new little mount. Uh, the mount I was thinking, I was like, since they like Deathwing so much, I was thinking you take uh, the Obsidian Worldbreaker... And you combined it with the the Fire Lord, the the Runebound Fire Lord, Ragnaros and Deathwing together. That'd be a funny mount. Uh, I also said they could sell a Zalatath mount, but that wouldn't be right. That wouldn't be right. They'd make money, but it wouldn't be right. Okay, but that that was a suggestion I made because the, they could do anything with the mount. You know, they like to do final bosses. You know, we had a Deathwing mount. We had a Nixia mount. Uh... Oh! Imagine a Pit Lord mount. I kept thinking about them doing Legion stuff. So we could see those motorcycles. If they decide to do a little bit of Legion theme with the patch. Uh... You know? And... You know what? I will mention this. In 10.0.5, which was the first patch of the Dragon Isles, we got a little event, and then we got the Trading Post, which is an evergreen feature. So, one of my chatters suggested we could get housing as an evergreen feature. Honestly, it could happen. 20th anniversary housing? You never know. But yeah. Yeah. We could just get a complete... So the anniversary thing, going based on that, we could get a patch in the War Within that is just based on the anniversary or adding something new in the old world, okay? But let's pull it back. You know, usually when I do predictions, right, I like to predict story stuff. So let's get go back here to the stories and quests. Now... There's two uh, different groups we meet in early War Within. And we get to play with them a little bit. One a little bit more than the other. And I think in 11.0.5 we may be getting a feature related to one of these groups. Maybe both. But I think one of these groups. Okay. Okay. But I don't think we'll get both. But let's start with the Haranir. If we get the Haranir, we're getting them as an allied race. Allied race in 11.0.5 would be big. They could do a new zone. The last time we got a new zone, zone, uh, to compare it to would be like the Forbidden Reach. We didn't get that to an 11.0.7. So, could the Haranir be the 11.0.7 feature? Maybe. Maybe. Alright? That's why I'm, I'm putting both of these here. But I definitely see the story quest could be all the Haranir and we get a new allied race. And that's good too. Or, we get the Arathi. Alright? We can get the new half-elf customizations. And I thought that was kind of cool, but I was like, if we're getting the Arathi, I would want the patch to maybe give us a little bit more. And liking it to a patch in Dragonflight, 
maybe we can get a whole class opened up. And I think the good class to go with the Arathi would be Paladins. We could very well see Paladins added. One of the stipulations I see to adding Paladins is the mounts. So if we start seeing mounts in the data when we start sniffing around that 10.0.11.0.5 data, maybe we'll be getting Paladins. And all that could be coming soon. They could start sniffing around in the data in a couple of weeks now, maybe before. And that's why this video is coming up. So, Paladins, Arathi, the Return of Tear, that could be the patch. Paranir, Allied Race, that could be the patch. Anniversary, big anniversary update, that could be the patch. If if it's an anniversary update, it needs to be permanent. Something about this needs to be permanent if it's going to be the whole patch. Okay. And there's two things I think we already know are coming. One confirmed, one unconfirmed. I think we're for sure getting the transmog update. I talked about it yesterday. Uh, but I think we're getting Drakthir, more classes. More classes for Drakthir. I think that's an 11.5 feature. It could be pushed back. Again, these are all predictions we don't know. Uh, but that's the thing about predictions. You need to get them out before the stuff's announced. And that's it. Uh, what do y'all think? I definitely think I may be right about the, the timing. It definitely feels like a, a late October patch. Could be early November. And with the transmog update, I'm already excited. And with how Dragonflight went, I'm hyped. The point fives have usually added some good stuff, some fixes. Point seven's gonna get us hype for what's next. I think it's a good time to be playing. So, anyways, those are my predictions, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye bye.